Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Today I'm sharing the cards I made using Honeybee Stamps Team Tie-Dye 6x6 Paper Pod. This collection is stunning. All of the patterns were created by Honeybee Stamps design team. So they used a variety of different styles, techniques to create these amazing backgrounds. I think it's such a fun idea they involved their design team to create this paper collection. The hardest part for me was selecting which pattern to use since they're all so beautiful. There are two of each design, so you don't really have to choose. For this first card, I think this is one of my favorite patterns. I love the greens and blues with that brownish gold color in the background. I cut out a stitched rectangle frame, used some brown pearlescent cardstock for that. Matches really nicely with the brown in that pattern paper. Adhered it to the card using some Barely Art liquid adhesive. I'll be using Honeybee Stamps Hello die set. This is one of their buzzwords. There's three different dies. So you have the word and then two different outlines. So you could use just the word and one of the outlines or you could use all three. So many different options. So I cut out the word from some green cardstock. I'm layering it on that same brown pearlescent cardstock and then again on some white cardstock. And that very background has a pierced detail all along the outside, so that's really fun. I'll pop it up using some thin foam squares. I'll make sure to get good coverage. Then I'll remove the release paper and adhere it to the card more in the lower right-hand corner. Then to finish off the card, I'll add some brown crystals. These are from Studio Katia. Put three of them in the upper left-hand corner and two in the lower right-hand corner. I'm using an embellishment wand to pick them up since they don't have adhesive on the back. I'll put a drop of liquid adhesive and adhere them to the card. And that glue will dry clear, so you're not going to see that little bit of white around the crystals. So there is my finished card, and I did end up making two using the same design. And I'll be doing that for all of the cards in this video. For my next card, I have this fun rainbow pattern paper. I have a four by five and a quarter inch piece for that background panel. I use that leftover two inch strip. I'm gonna cut a fishtail on the bottom. A lot of the patterns, they don't work well together, but I thought these two did. I'll layer that banner on some dark blue cardstock, leaving about an eighth of an inch of that matted layer. Then I'll adhere it to the left hand side. I love that banner piece that has a little heart in the design. It's so sweet. Then I'll be layering this panel on some holographic cardstock. I did cut out the center, so I'll save that for another project, but I will fill in that gap with some scrap cardstock. Then I'll layer this piece on that same dark blue cardstock. If you're new to my videos, I love adding cardstock layers to my cards. I'll put some ATG tape on the back and adhere my card front to my card base. And hopefully you can see it in the video, but it has that lovely rainbow holographic look just around the outside edge of the card. I cut out a stitched oval die cut, use some white shimmer cardstock for that. Before adhering it to the card, I am adding some scrap pieces of cardstock on the right side where it goes off of that banner just to keep everything at that same level. I'll be using the same Hello sentiment, this time just two of the dies. Popped it up again using some thin foam squares and adhere it to the center of that oval. Now I wanna add a few little heart embellishments. I use Honeybee Stamps Fluttering Hearts die. They cut out a random assortment of different shapes of hearts, so it's really fun. I use some blue glitter cardstock from Pink and Main. I'll adhere two of them in the lower right-hand corner and one above the sentiment. And a final finishing touch, I'll bring in some of Honeybee Stamps gem stickers. This is from their newest Funfetti birthday collection. But they have several different sets, so they always have the perfect color. So there is my finished card, and again, I did make two using this design. For card design number three, I have this really fun pattern paper, pink and orange and yellow, so pretty. 
I'm using the Radiant Heart Dye from Honey Bee Stamps. So it cuts out this fun pattern with the heart and has all those little rays. And I will be saving that cut out heart for another project. So you can see this backside is so fun. Look at how colorful that is. Put some ATG tape in the areas I could get it and then I'll put liquid adhesive all around the edges and close to the heart, just making sure it's not gonna pull away from that cardstock layer. I'm also getting just a little bit of glue between each of those rays. Then I'll layer it on some dark pink cardstock. I'll place one of my acrylic blocks on top for some added weight while I let that glue dry. Then I'll put some ATG tape on the back and adhere the card front to the card base. And for this card, I won't have any of the white card base showing. That Radiant Heart die goes almost to the edge. And I didn't want to cut off any of those rays. For the sentiment on the card, I'll be adding the word happy. This is from Honey Bee Stamps brand new Biddy Buzzword set. So it has the word and one of the outlines. I used some of the scrap paper from the card panel for the word happy, layered it on some white shimmer cardstock, and then I layer it again on some orange glitter cardstock. And I shifted it just slightly so you'd see just a peak of that glitter cardstock around the outside. Put some liquid adhesive on the back and adhere it to the center of the heart. I also have the stamp set. So this is the Biddy Buzzword stamp set. Stamped out the word hello and I'll adhere that underneath the word happy. I love the sentiment happy hello. Using that same fluttering heart die set, I cut out three more hearts, use a scrap of some pink iridescent cardstock. Put two of them in the upper left-hand corner and one in the lower right-hand corner. And I felt that this was enough for the card. It has that little bit of shine and I love the colors. So there is my finished card. I think this is definitely one of my favorites, but do let me know which card is your favorite. I have this beautiful pattern paper that goes from purple to blue to green. I have some stitched strip dies from Pretty Pink Posh, and I cut out that entire panel with those dies. I'll be adding all of those die cut strips to a piece of white cardstock. First, I'll put ATG tape over that entire piece of white cardstock. Then I'll start with the purple piece adhere it to the very edge of the card and then just start adding one piece after the next. I'm putting them nice and close together so you're not gonna see the white cardstock between those strips. I did cut the strips just a little bit wider than that white cardstock panel. Now you could just use that pattern paper, but I thought adding those stitch details would be fun. So I'm coming up to the very last piece and I had just a tiny bit of that white cardstock showing, so I will be trimming that off. I flipped over that panel and trimmed away the extra pattern paper. Then I'll layer this on a scalloped rectangle die cut. This is from Honey Bee Stamps. I'll put adhesive on the back and adhere it to a card base. So there will be just a little bit of that white card base showing around those scallops. And just to make sure that scallop die cut lays flat on the card, I have some ATG tape on the back and also put just a thin layer of liquid adhesive along the edge. It'll just help to make sure it's not going to pull away. For the sentiment on the card, I have Happy Mail. This is from Honey Bee Stamps. It's their Love Enclosed stamp and die set. So I cut out that background piece and just offset the two so you'd see just a hint of that dark blue cardstock behind. And I'll pop it up using some thin foam squares. I do have to trim down some of those foam squares to make sure I have a solid coverage on the back of this die cut. Then I can remove the release paper. I have a couple more pieces I need to add. And then I'll adhere to the center of the card. I love this large Happy Mail sentiment. I bought the stamp set just for that sentiment. And it's nice to have the coordinating die to cut out that word. One of the foam pieces stuck to my finger, so I had to put that back in place. I'll also add a few of the little envelopes. These are included on that same stamp set. 
I did color them up real simple with some Copic markers. So I put one in the lower right hand corner and two in the upper left hand corner. And to finish off the card, I'm using the Reflection Dew Drops from Honeybee Stamps. I'll put two of them in the upper left hand corner and three in the lower right hand corner, just that one around the sentiment. So these are really pretty. When the light hits them, it has an iridescent look to them. One of the dew drops stuck to my glue, and then when I was trying to place it on the card, it was sticking more to my finger. So I did have to go and clean that glue off. So there is my finished card. I love the colors on this pattern paper. It's so pretty. Now moving on to card design number five. I'm using this gorgeous pattern paper. It's very unique looking. It reminds me of the beach. I thought that bluish green kind of looked like a wave. And then I know it's more white, but there's that hint of rust along the edge. So that could be the sand. So I layered it first on some black cardstock. Then I'll layer it again on some dark teal cardstock. Put some ATG tape on the back and adhere my card front to a card base. One thing I kept thinking while I was making all these cards, I felt like I was cheating since I didn't make any of these gorgeous backgrounds. Somebody else did all that work. So thank you so much, Honeybee Stamps design team. You guys did an amazing job. So since I'm going for that beach look, I decided to use the Flip Flop Builder from Honeybee Stamps. This die set is so cute. It has all the different pieces to assemble little flip flops. So I already have one all assembled. For the second, I'm using some cardstock for the base of the flip-flop, that same rust color, using that same dark teal for the straps, and then I have some glitter teal cardstock for the bow. There's three different die pieces to assemble the bow. So I am putting my acrylic block on top just to make sure it stays in place. Then I'll pop it up using some thin foam squares. I already have them on the back of that second flip-flop. Remove the release paper and adhere them in the lower right hand corner. For the sentiment on the card, I'm using Honeybee Stamps Flipping Fabulous Stamp Set. I have the stamp and the coordinating dies. So I've already stamped and cut out all of the pieces and I couldn't decide at first if I wanted them on that blue or on the white. And I felt that the blue, it really got lost, but I decided to still use those blue pieces. So I'm just adhering the white on top and I have a peak of that blue at the very top. So it'll also add just a little extra dimension. I'll add some liquid adhesive to the back and adhere them to the top of the card. I love that Honeybee Stamps has those coordinating dies to go around the sentiments. Then to finish off the card, I'm using Honeybee Stamps Small Clear Dew Drops. I love these, they're the perfect size. And I believe there's two different sizes included in the mix. I'll put two in the lower left hand corner and three around the sentiment in that upper right hand corner. So again, that glue will dry clear. You're not gonna see that drop of white. So there is my finished card. This is another of my favorites. That pattern paper is so pretty. Now moving on to card design number six. This pattern paper remind me of a winter scene. I really wonder what the design team was thinking while they were creating it. Maybe they were thinking of a winter scene, I'm not sure, but that's what I'm gonna go with. I'll be adding Honeybee Stamps Birch Tree Cover Panel on top of that pattern paper, and I cut it out from some white shimmer cardstock. So I'll get adhesive all along the edge, try to get good coverage on all of those tree trunks. And this die is a full A2 size, so five and a half inches by four and a quarter inches. Then I'll adhere it on top of that pattern paper. So doesn't that look like a little winter snowy scene in the background? It may be a little early to be making winter cards, but that's okay. I use the winter buzzwords die set. Have some white shimmer cardstock, some of that dark teal cardstock, and then glitter cardstock. So I layered all those together, popped it up using some thin foam squares. And I also have the coordinating stamp set. So I stamped out warm wishes. So we have warm winter wishes. I used some Catherine Pooler ink for the stamps. 
solid here. Warm above winter and then wishes will go underneath on the right. Then I'll add in a few snowflakes. These are from Honeybee Stamps and I cut them out from some white glitter cardstock. Put two of them in the upper left hand corner, one in the lower right hand corner by the sentiment. Just putting a drop of liquid adhesive in the center of the snowflakes. One final snowflake in place. Then I'll also bring in some of Honeybee Stamps gem stickers. I'll be using the white. Now they do have adhesive on the back, but since I'm adhering them to the center of the snowflakes and it's glitter cardstock, I am going to add a drop of liquid adhesive as well. And I'll also add just a couple more gem stickers around the sentiment and snowflakes. I think this turned out really nice. I love those wintry colors. Now moving on to card design number seven. Now we'll shift away from winter and head back to summer with some fun tropical colors. This pattern paper has a rainbow of brush strokes along the background. I'll layer it on some silver mirror cardstock and then add my card front to a card base, leaving that eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. Now for the image on the card, I'm using an assortment of dies from Honeybee Stamps. This is their Tropical Bouquet die set and it's so much fun. For the vase, I use some white shimmer cardstock and then I cut out an assortment of leaves and flowers. Now I've already assembled the flowers. There's a few different die pieces to put together. I attach some of the leaves behind the vase or maybe it's a pot. Put a couple of them in front. And then I will be popping this up with some foam squares. Now there's some extra layers with all those leaves, so I don't need to add dimension to every little area. I'll put some liquid adhesive on the back for all those other little areas and adhere it to the center of the card. Then on the flowers, I will pop them up using some foam squares. I don't need to add a lot since again, I'm trying to balance everything out with the other layers on the card. For this final flower, I did add a foam dimension on all of the petals, but one where it's sitting on top of that yellow flower. For this sentiment, I've stamped and cut out Just For You. This is from Honeybee Stamps Love Enclosed Stamp and Coordinating Die Set. I did add a foam square on the very right hand side underneath the word you and then adhered it underneath the flowers. For a finishing touch, I'll bring in the Honeybee Stamps Reflection Dewdrops. Just choosing the smaller sizes. So I'll put two on the right hand side by the sentiment and one in the upper left hand corner. So there is my finished card. I love those nice vibrant colors. Now moving on to card design number eight and this is my final card design. I have some solid teal cardstock for the background. I use Honeybee Stamps quilted cover plate for that fun stitched detail. I'll add this to my card base. I'll be using the brand new cookie sheet die set from Honeybee Stamps and this is such a fun set. I use some dark gray pearlescent cardstock for the cookie sheet. Now you can see this is a full A2 size panel. I decided to attach that cookie sheet to the card at an angle, so some of it is going to go off of the card base. And I got this idea from one of Honeybee Stamps design team members. Now I did put some acrylic box on top to let that glue adhere in place. Now flip over the card and trim off the extra. Now you could just use that die for a card base. I think that would be really fun as well. Now for the cookies, so there's different cookie dies that are included. There's a heart, a star, and a circle. I'll be using just the heart and the circle. So I have, I guess, the frosting and then that scallop cookie. I'll be making some lemon sugar cookies for my card. So I'm gonna add a little bit of color to the edge of the cookie. I have some Distress Ink. This is the tea dye color using a blender brush and just touching the very outside edge. So it'll look like it's been browned in the oven. Now once I have browned all of my cookies, I can add the icing. So 
I have some lemon icing, which is the pattern paper from the backside of that flip-flop pattern paper. So you can see a little bit of that design on the back. Put some liquid adhesive on the back and adhere all of my icing to the cookies. And I like how that yellow pattern paper has a little different coloring. So some of it's lighter than the others. So maybe those darker yellow cookies are a little zestier than the others. Then I can attach them to my cookie sheet, just alternating the hearts and the circles. I'll use some liquid adhesive and start adhering them to the card. And I will be skipping over that bottom heart just for now. Trying to get them nice and evenly spaced. I know when I bake cookies, I try to get them evenly spaced on my cookie sheet. The die set also includes this fun spatula. So I cut it out twice. I have some silver mirror cardstock and also some black cardstock. So I trim down the very end for the handle on the spatula and I'll just glue those together. And then I'll place the spatula underneath that bottom heart cookie. And before I adhere it in place, I will add a thin foam square just on the handle. And then the rest I'll just use liquid adhesive. So some of that spatula is going to go over the other cookies. And then I'll add liquid adhesive to that final heart cookie and adhere it in place. For the sentiment on the card, I've already stamped this out. You make life so sweet. This is from Honeybee Stamps, brand new You Bake Me Happy stamp set. I did put some foam dimension on the very bottom portion and then adhered it underneath the edge of the cookie sheet. I cut out several different heart die cuts using some yellow glitter cardstock. The larger heart is a die that's included with the cookie sheet set. The smaller heart is a lawn fawn die. Now the heart cookie in the upper left hand corner I didn't want to have any extra dimension under the spatula, so I did trim that corner of the heart and then adhered it in place. I'll attach the two small hearts around the sentiment. So just bringing in some more of that yellow color. I decided to add a little bow using some twine. I'll just glue it to the handle of the spatula and I'll attach it using a small glue dot. Then a final finishing touch, I decided those circle cookies needed some sprinkles. So I'm using some Nouveau Glitter Drops. This is the yellow bird color. I'll just add some random drops to those cookies. And there is my finished card. This one was so much fun to make. It did take a little bit longer, but I think it was worth it. I love that yellow and teal together. Honeybee Stamps comes out with so many fun die sets that are perfect for those who really don't like to color. Although you could add some coloring to those dies for some extra dimension. Now I didn't finish off the paper collection. There's so many beautiful patterns, so I will be going back and using these later. So here's everything I have left over, including the scraps. Here's another look at the 16 cards I made using Honeybee Stamps Team Tie-Dye 6x6 Paper Pad. I love this collection so much. It's very unique and I love that their design team is the one that created all of these lovely patterns. Like I mentioned earlier, really felt like I was cheating since I didn't create any of those backgrounds. I have provided links in the description box if you are interested in any of the products I used in this video. These are affiliate links. I will earn a small commission at no additional cost to you when you make a purchase using those links. The money I earn helps me continue to bring you content and keep up with the cost of having a YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.